what's up guys welcome back to the channel today i got a new video for y'all so today's video man gonna be super short honestly i just want to explain kind of why i haven't been posting and kind of what the situation is right now um so i've been kind of having a lot going on but at the same time the car has been broke for it was probably broke for like two weeks or so uh basically it was tripping out electronically if you follow me on instagram you probably know what what it was kind of doing because i made a instagram story about it kind of but um basically one day i was driving the car and um you know drove around town for you know quite a while and then i was like let me hop on the highway do a couple pulls since i haven't done any pulls um and the reason why i was doing this was because there's a module that's in the trunk it's supposed to be for sound cancellation um a friend of mine wanted to buy it and so i was like yeah let me take it out of the car drive it around as long as everything acts right then i'll sell it to you and um you know because it's supposed to be for sound cancellation so i shouldn't need it but let me drive it just in case so I was driving it around and, um, you know, everything was fine. Then I was like, hmm, let me go do a pool. Went and did a pool and then it says, get a warning light that says service to bullet track system, service power steering, and kind of lost power. Like you can tell the car went into like a, like, I guess kind of like a limp mode or something. Um, Cause I was like trying to give it gas to get it going and it wasn't really wanting to move. Um, so I pulled over to this gas station, turned the car off, turned it back on and pulling out of the gas station, you know, I'm, it's like it's almost like it's stuck in gear or maybe the throttle just wasn't really working at all. But um, the car didn't want to move. So I was like trying to give it gas to get it moving. And um, as I was pulling out of the gas station, it literally just went fucking wide open throttle and like literally did not want to stop. Like I, it went probably over 100 miles an hour and like I was on the brakes and it was still accelerating. And so I was like, fuck it. I'm not about to cook the brakes threw it in neutral, shut the car off, and coasted into another parking lot, and, you know, let it sit there until, had my dad bring me back that module, put it back in the car, immediately, as soon as I started the car, serviced the build-a-track system, tried uh, disconnecting the battery for 30 minutes, and to let it reset, that didn't do anything, same thing, started the car up, same thing, so, um, pushed it onto a trailer, and took it up to my work, finally ended up getting it looked at, like, after probably, like, a week or two, and um basically all we changed and it seemed like it fixed it because i haven't had the issue since but um we replaced the shifter which i've been needing to replace the shifter for a while because there's been a lot of times where i'll say shift to park when i'm in park uh, so that's a pretty common problem with a lot of chevys i know the malibus have that problem a lot uh the reason why i know this is because i work for chevy so our service department sees a lot of um a lot of malibus and stuff like that that say shift to park so they end up needing to replace the shifter and stuff like that so ended up having to replace the shifter and the little jumper harness for it uh which is no big deal you know not even expensive at all and then um the technician he was like he was like man i don't know like really what it could be but he was checking um he, he noticed that i had the i had the park brake control module out because i have no parking brake since i got the 15 inch conversion on the back um have no parking brake but also have that module out now i don't know if a lot of people leave that thing plugged in or what but i've had mine out and i've had it out for a long time ever since i did the 15s i've had that module out and um he was like that thing has a resistor in it he's like i don't i don't see how that uh i don't see how that system is going to be like circulating properly without something there without that resistor there at least so he wired in a little resistor to that connector and so just that and then the shifter and i went and drove it around did a lot of pulls and you know the car acted fine so i think that's fixed um and when i had the car in the trailer when it was broke i noticed that it was leaking fluid had a brake have a brake caliper leaking so uh now that the the main issue is fixed i was all right i'll go ahead and take care of the leaking caliper ordered the a new seal kit from aerospace I actually ordered two so i have a backup but um ordered a new seal kit and i was like let me take this caliper apart that way i can you know just rebuild it and we'll be good taking it apart strip the bolt so now I'm waiting on bolts for aerospace and got that bolt out and got the pistons popped out of the caliper. And now two of the pistons are, which I didn't pay attention to see if they were like this before they actually popped out of the caliper or if it was when they popped out, they hit the concrete. Maybe that's what did it. I'm not sure, but let me show you all the pistons real quick. All right, so here's the caliper. Um, here's half of the caliper, but you can see these pistons. So there's a big chip right there on that one, right in the middle of the screen. You can see that. I think that's the only chip on this piston and then this one is chipped pretty good on both sides it's chipped down in here you can barely see it 
and then chipped in multiple spots up here. So uh, I could have put the caliper back together, but being that these pistons are messed up, I, I didn't want to put them back in because one of these chips goes down a little bit and I wasn't sure if it was, uh, I think it's this one. Um, I wasn't sure if it was, uh, if it went down far enough to where it would mess up the seal. So I didn't want to even risk it. So I'm going to order new pistons on Monday, which would be today's Saturday. So I'm going to order new pistons on Monday, just two new pistons. Two of them are fine. And then, um, you know, hopefully the pistons and the, um, and the bolts will be coming in this week, which they should be, but hopefully we can get the pistons in this week too. That way I could put it together and hopefully go to the track for it. All right, so now that's the brake issue. So now we're just waiting on, you know, a couple parts for that, put that caliper back together, then we should be good to go as far as that goes. Um, and the last few videos, I'm pretty sure I talked about um, how I messed up one of the connectors on my wide band. So I haven't been able to really like log the car at all at the track or anything for Ryan. So um, I ordered those new harnesses. I just haven't, I've had them for a while. I just haven't put them in. But today I finally decided to go ahead and put those in since I had time to do it and um so now that is good should be good i'm gonna have to check it with my tablet to make sure it actually records but that should be fine now i replaced both harnesses for that and i apologize if there's a lot of wind noise but um so now that is good and what else oh today i was supposed to go to san antonio today uh, i was actually about to leave my town and the guy texted me but basically i was gonna go to san antonio to meet with this guy to buy some ford stars so only the rears but I wanted another set of 15s for the rear. Um, but at the same time, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So that's why I wanted Ford Stars. And Ford Stars are relatively light. Um, I wanted another set of rears because I want to throw a set of slicks on them. And I want to start doing some street stuff, man. So street digs. I haven't really ever done street digs. Um, there's been a couple times where I've done them just kind of bullshitting, you know, not taking it serious. But like, I want to like actually like get into it and start actually racing maybe start grudge racing on the street um because honestly nobody wants to run me at the track nobody wants to fucking run me the only cars i want to run me are head scam cars so um like I, i'm at the point where i got to do something different if i want to get some type of action because i'm honestly kind of getting bored just going to the track um which don't get me wrong i like going to the track but i want to do something different i want to provide some type of different content for y'all because like i said i for a while now it's just been track 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 and you know i know y'all want to see something different uh i may start trying to do some rolls here and there which i'll put i'll leave the radials on for that but um i was going to go to san antonio pick up those wheels and that guy ended up saying he got called in to work so unfortunately that didn't happen but i'm hoping that he could find a way to get those shipped to me that way i can get them because i already ordered the tires and all that so um i want to have another set of wheels throw some slicks on and we can start you know taking this dig racing stuff seriously ordered prep so uh, i, I want to do this and i want to do it right and i want to see what we can get my car to do on the street we are stock suspension so that's kind of going to hurt but because we can't adjust it you know what i mean but um I, I still think we can get my car to go down pretty well on the street um i think i got a bug on but um yeah so i'm just curious see how my car will do on the street um i'm gonna try it on a radio and i'm gonna try it on the slick obviously but i think the slick would be the safer bet as far as being more consistent but i want to see if i can also get it down to go down i want to see if i can get it to go down on a radio as well on the street but um so yeah that's where we're at i'm just waiting on the caliper really and then that'll be waiting on the caliper and then waiting on the wheels so waiting to hear back from that guy as far as the shipping goes but um that's where we're at man i just wanted to kind of update y'all real quick i know this video kind of turned out longer than i was expecting it to but um i know there's a there's a red six gen out of louisiana so the vedros um uh, i don't want to say the vedros brothers but uh tyler vedros and his dad you know they got a shop whatever um i know their so their car has been like 1020s or something like that on the stock converter so they're the ones you know they got they took that little stock converter micro record from me and um now i believe they're going to be putting a converter in the car probably throwing a high ram on it so they are kind of chasing that i don't necessarily want to say they're chasing the record but they're gonna they're gonna push the boundaries of the bolt-on setup i'm gonna let them do that that's why you know i want to get into the street stuff to try to do something different i went nines you know i got that off my bucket list so i'll, I'll let them handle the rest of that 
uh, at least for now, because, you know, we're getting into summer, dude. Like, it's fucking hot here in Texas, and, like, my car's not going to run anything special in this type of weather. So, you know, they want to play around with that. Go for it. I'm going to focus more on the street stuff for now, and then maybe once the weather gets better, you know, maybe we'll try to, um, maybe we'll try to go back to the track and, you know, make a hero pass, see what we can do. But, um, yeah, man, that's kind of just a rundown of what's going on, why I haven't been posting, and I just wanted to give you an update because I know it's been a while. But, uh, anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, give a thumbs up to the channel. Please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.